happy Wednesday. It is the beginning of a brand new vlog. So today I am starting it off on Wednesday evening. I'm in my kitchen. I'm actually getting ready to make myself some dinner. I have been kind of like doing the vegetarian thing. Not that I'm not eating meat. I discovered very recently that some of the pain in my side slash like in this little area right in here was really coming from indigestion. So a few nights ago, I had to throw some Pepsi in my cart and run to Target and pick it up curbside. That eased the pain. And then I kind of like monitor what I was eating and realized that for some reason, meats are causing me some problems right now. So, so I've just been kind of navigating to vegetables. And so tonight I'm going to have myself some fresh green beans. I'm gonna cook them on the stove top instead of in the microwave. And I decided to make this with some potatoes. And I decided today that I was gonna kind of cut them up. This is more like what they call papas, which is in Spanish, it's potatoes. But if you go to Mexican restaurants, this is how they fix them. So I decided today that I was gonna do them this way. It takes a little bit longer to cook them this way because they are in chunks. I'm going to have those kind of simmering because I don't want them to burn. Okay, beauties, while my dinner is cooking, and by the way, everything smells so delish. The potatoes, the green beans, I'm so ready to eat like right now, but I want my green beans to cook a little bit because I want them to kind of like cook out that freezer taste. It's an old trick that my mom taught me uh, just to let them boil for a while, hard boiling, and it will kind of like pull that flavor from that freezer out of them. So I'm doing that. Potatoes are like at that point where you just want to just dive in there and eat them, but I'm waiting. But while I wait, I want to show you all, I have a little bit of an Ulta haul with me and my nail polish, cleaning out all my nail polish, just getting rid of colors that I don't want. I needed a new white nail polish and I had a coupon so I picked out myself. I actually picked out two. One of them is probably gonna go back, but I couldn't decide which one would be the best because you know how white nail polishes are. They both got really good reviews, but I have to test them out for myself. I have the OPI Infinite Shine, and this one is called Alpine Snow which that's that one. And then it's by Olay and it's the white tip French manicure polish. So, you know, of course it can go all over the whole nails. And I don't know if this actually have a color. It's just called white tips, it's a color. So I have that one. So that's what they both look like. And I'm not real sure, but one of them will go back. And then, so I saw this and I had not ever seen this before, but this is by Pacifica. And Pacifica is 100% vegan, cruelty-free, which is something that I am intrigued by. I am never going to be able to say that I'm going to be like 100% vegan on my products or whatever, because that probably will never happen. But I do want to clean up my makeup collection if I can. So the things that I am able to do that for, I will. And so I saw this and I thought, hmm, I really want to make sure I'm using, hold on, let me check on my food over here. Look at this, y'all. I'm gonna put just a little bit more water in there and let them cook a little bit longer. Said I had them boiling pretty hard. Okay, we're back. So anyway, um, I saw this and this is a mattifying and a mattify and protect daily priming lotion. They sent me the wrong stuff. I ordered the setting spray. Okay, so I'm a little bit confused because I ordered the setting spray, and this says mattify and protect daily priming lotion. So I don't think this is what I ordered. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this is what I ordered. Okay, so this is gonna have to go back. Oh, I'm so angry, so much for that. So I don't even, I don't want a priming lotion. I want the setting spray. Okay, well. Okay, beauties, dinner is served. It looks delicious. Green beans and potatoes. What more could a person ask for? I can't wait to bite into it. Yay! Okay, beauties, happy Thursday. I just got home. It's like, what time is it? It's like 6.30. So I had to bake some Target curbside pickups and I went to two different Targets. Am I crazy or what? 
But of course, now that I've gone to Target, I'm gonna share with you all what I picked up. And of course, I got a mess on my counter because, by the way, I ordered this from Amazon. I need to do my hair removal for my bikini area to start getting that thing in shape. <laughs> So I ordered this. I've never used this one before, so I'm going to definitely have to do a spot test and make sure that it's going to work. But I kind of like the ingredients that it was offering. So yeah. So anyway, if you've seen this or tried this, comment below and let me know what you think about it. So, so let's start undoing these bags. So, okay, I am really loving Oreos. And I guess I, I've been in this thing where I need a little bit of something chocolate and y'all okay so i showed y'all these that i ordered from amazon and then i found out target has them so i went on and sampled i've got this one and there's another one somewhere because i had to get that one from a different target let's see if i can't find it I think it's in this one. yeah so i got this one is it's the sour blast buddies that's that one and this one is the Fruity Gummy Bears. So that's that one. And then this is Red Twist. So this is like getting Twizzlers. So I'm excited to try all of these. I'm just gonna kind of put these inside my little box here. And I'm gonna be sampling those. And I'll let you all know what I think about them. But yeah, so yay, excited about that. So that's one bag down and then because I am into my sweet Italian cream. I cannot find the sugar-free one, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy this one. And I had to get some laundry detergent and I really wanted to try some of the Target, like, you know, Target brand have, Target, the Target brand is some good stuff. You know what I mean? So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try this laundry detergent. This is the Lavender Bloom and it says compared to Gain. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to give that a try. I've got to do some laundry, so I'm not looking forward to that, but you know, always, always. So next bag. I enjoyed having these last night, and so I ordered myself another bag. Or ordered, or I picked up another bag. And then I also enjoyed having these, and I don't think, I think I had these on Tuesday night, which I didn't vlog. And these are Simply Steam, and this is a Tuscan seasoned broccoli. Y'all, this is so good. I had this over rice. It was tasty. And then last but not least, which, wow, these are heavy. Oh my God, these are heavy. Oh, I'm excited. So I got these. Okay, I think in my last night's video, you saw me eating out of a bowl very similar to this. When I ordered them or I picked them up from Target, put them in my cart, whatever, I didn't realize they were plastic. For some reason, wasn't registering to me. I was just assuming they were glass. I don't really get off on plastic wear when it comes to like dishes and stuff like that. Like I'm okay if I'm outside at a picnic or something like that, but for day-to-day -day eating, I don't know. I just like my glass. And then when I read on there, you couldn't microwave it, that did it for me because I was like, I got to be able to heat my food up because I can't stand cold food. My food has to be so hot that I have to ease my way into it. Long story to tell y'all, I went back and ordered these and I am so excited. These are the Project 62. These are only $4 a piece, which I looked on Amazon and these plates, not necessarily, I mean, not this brand, obviously, but these were like four for like $26, $27, $38, $36. So $4 a piece on these is really a good deal. So I got two because I don't know, I wanted to see what I thought. I probably will get two more of these. So when I have guests or whatever, but I like these a lot. They are so heavy. Like I cannot believe how heavy they are, but I like having my food. Like, I don't know. I'm into this. I just don't know. I, I can't even really explain it to y'all, but I just love that whole the aesthetic of having my food sitting on a bowl slash plate because when I'm doing vegetarian dishes or eating more vegetables, I should say, it's, I don't know, they seem to line up much better inside of one of these. So anyway, I know I'm way over the moon, but yeah, so that's my little mini Target haul. 
This is like my second time of going to Target this week. So even though it seems small, it's not because I've already been to Target and spent money. So anyway, but I'm loving having these vegetables because I'm into my vegetables right now. Let me go ahead and put this stuff away. Hey, hey beauties, happy Friday. I literally just came in from my walk. It was a beautiful, beautiful walk. It's hot out here. I have on just some cute little workout clothing. I threw on this top because I threw this top on over my shoulder because I was afraid that as the evening gets into the evening, as the day get into the evening, it tends to cool off pretty fast. And I was afraid that I would get like halfway through my walk and all of a sudden it would be much cooler, but it never got that way. I'm exhausted. I actually need to run, do a curbside pickup at Target. I know my phone is probably shaking right now because I'm literally like, I'm like coming in for my walk. So I'm kind of exhausted but it's not for like anything that you would think. Like I'm getting some more of those plates actually. I'm gonna go ahead and get four more because I want to have those when people come over and like I make a meal. Like if my daughter and my, my daughter-in-law, my son comes over, we can make a meal and put it inside the plates. That's how much I love those plates y'all. They are amazing and for $4 each, you can't go wrong. I don't know if they have my Target online, but um, they're hard to find at the Targets here. So I'm actually gonna have to go to the Target in Alamo Heights, which is over by where I work actually. So that's gonna be interesting. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna go now um, because I know that they're ready and I would have gone after work because I was over there, but I had my infusion today. So I had to like book it over to get my infusion. And then I was like, oh my God, that means I'm gonna have to drive all the way back over there to get the plate, but what else am I doing? It's Friday and you know, we're still in pandemic mode. So I have nothing else to do. I might as well take the drive, right? That's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. I'm going to take the drive. Hey, hey, beauties. Happy Sunday. I don't even know where to begin. So it's like Sunday evening, actually. It's like super, super late in the day. And I am in my bed. I'm in my PJs with my big old comfy sweater over top that I wear all the time because it's like my comfort sweater. It keeps me warm and cozy. And today I've just been having one of those days and so honestly I have no idea how I want to say good but probably how bad <laughs> is probably the better term this vlog will be because I don't know that I vlog very much and I don't know if the material that I vlogged was vlog worthy but yeah so because it's real life this is a real life event like I'm not in one of those cute PJ outfits from somewhere that I'm going to advertise and tell you that you need it in your life. I have no idea where these PJs are from. I want to say they're probably from TJ Maxx. Actually, yeah, they are from TJ Maxx. Many moons ago, they're super old. Um, and this, uh, this actually sweater is from Walmart um, many moons ago as well. So nothing about me today is like, oh, hurry out and get that, you know, find an old sweater in your closet somewhere and make it your your huggy sweater or whatever but I will tell you I am comfortably lying on my silk pillowcases that I got from Amazon so hey there's my pop for the day Amazon is where it's at but yeah so I've had like such a I don't want to say a rough day because it really it hasn't really been rough 
but just one of those days where you spend a lot of your time thinking about life and trying to figure out like how the heck did you get here like how did you end up where you are and are you making the best out of your life and how do you change it if you're not making the best out of your life you know I was on the phone with my sister today and we talk often as you all know especially since my brother-in-law passed away and we talk like we've never talked before like we share like I don't want to say our deepest secrets but I guess in a sense they are our deepest secrets our deepest thoughts you know where we we realize we're a lot alike um and a lot of things of how we've lived our lives even though we're so different and I know that sounds very like like really but it is like we're we have lived very different lives yet there's a similarity there that we cannot ignore and it's you know us chatting today kind of got me to thinking like just how after going through everything that I've gone through just like I have no idea how I ended up where I am but I know I don't want to stay where I am. Like I want more from my next 50 years of living. And for those of you who don't know, and I don't know if I've ever said this on my channel, I'm sure I have because it's like been my motto ever since I found out I had breast cancer. But my grandfather passed away at 105. I'm 55 now and I'm going to live to be 105. So I'm going to live another 50 years. And, um, I can't live my next 50 years the way I lived my first 55. I found myself, I'm in a rut. I've allowed people to treat me in such horrible ways and I just take it and I don't stand up for myself. I've sucked at love. You know, I. it's ironic that people really message me about like, oh, my relationship. And I, I really need to get into some of those. And there's one that I want to, I may do a vlog on because I don't know that I'm able to do videos right now because I just don't seem to have that on to do a sit down video. But these vlogs are just so much easier for me. But yeah, so I really suck at it. Like I have not ever been able to find that happy peace there. And, um. So for all those people out there that send me emails, thank you for believing in me. But I don't know why you believe in me because I really suck at it. I am far from my happy place when it comes to that. And I struggle every day, every day. So, yeah. So anyway, today is just... I've had all of this on my mind like I just I want so much more out of life than what I'm getting and I just had a recent experience that's really set me back and it's really been troubling to me and I'm trying to figure out how to like overcome it like how do I get myself through this little event and um Honestly, it's got me where I am today. Still in my PJs. No, I haven't had a shower. <laughs> but who cares? Because, you know, I'm, I'm in my room. I'm all alone. Like, who cares, right? A few weeks ago, something happened. And, you know, like when something happens in your life and you realize, like, you see the writing on the wall, but you don't really want to see the writing on the wall. Like, you know it's there. You've read it. But you're like... How can I unread this? Or how can I make this not as bad as it sounds? Because if I own up to how bad it sounds, then what does that make me other than a damn fool? Have you ever been that way? Because that's kind of where I, what I'm dealing with right now. And I, I'm struggling. Like I'm trying to figure this out. And yes, it ties into me sucking at love. Not ever not having that that true that true happiness not having someone to love me truly for me i'm struggling with how to analyze it 
But yeah, so that's kind of where my day is. I've just been kind of deep in thought, you know, stem, stemming from me chatting with my sister to that just being pounded on my in my brain. And I know that I'm not the only person that feels that way because, you know, the funny thing about life and my videos that I do, me vlogging, there's an inner person in me that's telling me that this is what I need to do. And that's God speaking to me. Every time I pick up this camera to do a vlog, I hear a voice that's telling me that there's a reason, there's a purpose. You know, I keep doing this over and over again with like, I've been doing this forever and I don't have a thousand subscribers yet. And I watch other videos of other people that I know their videos aren't nowhere near like, and I don't want to say that and make it sound like, oh my God, I'm so much better than other people because I'm not. But you know, like you look at other videos of other people and you're like, what makes this video better than mine to where they would end up with, you know, a thousand views and like that. And I've been doing this for years and I can't even make it to a thousand yet. I keep on doing it. So you know that, I, that there's a purpose behind this. It's an inner force that I can't escape. Because every time I tell myself, enough is enough. Like, why do you keep doing this? Because it's, it's serving no purpose. Then I'll get an email or I'll get a text message or I'll get a, something from someone to make me say, this is why you're doing this. Someone is listening. Someone is hearing your voice and someone is gaining something from it, no matter how big or small. I recently had a, a serious heartbreak, friendship break through having a virtual friend that I met through doing this video. And and that almost made me really want to just stop again because I was like, I never would have guessed in a million years that I would have ended up in that situation. And there I was. And I was asking myself, why put in the effort? Because this is what you get. Like, you know, like you end up getting ished on every single time. Like almost everything you try in life, it just seems like things like that happen. But then there's that voice inside my head saying, you know, keep plugging at it, you know. The world wasn't made in a day and you're going to get, you have something good coming to you because you're speaking through me and your sincerity is there. And even though you don't, you're not advertising, you're not getting the views and you're not getting all of that stuff, you're doing something good. So I guess that's why I feel like me sitting, lying here rather, <laughs> um, you know, sharing even what little bit I've shared, which is probably TMI to the Mac, you know, because I know even though I've been vague, I've let enough out to know that for you all to know that I am in some type of way in the relationship field, which I've never hid that from you all. I've never proclaimed. I've never come on here being like, oh, I had the best marriage ever. And oh, life is just perfect. It's not. <laughs> and I've never, you know, I've never, ever proclaimed that and never will I ever proclaim that. Again, like I said, I suck. I suck. I suck at love. So anyway, I know that there's someone out there that needed to hear this, what little bit I did share. So I did work on my closet today, though, and maybe I'll be able to show y'all some of the not-so-good footage uh, of my closet. I didn't record any of me doing it because I was actually talking to my sister at the time I was doing it. But I moved a few things around in there and I have a big old pile of clothes sitting over there and a big old pile of shoes sitting on the other side over there and I still have so much left in that closet to do but I'm taking little baby steps to get there so I was a tad bit accomplished today so I guess it wasn't a total waste <laughs> but I'm watching a Hallmark movie that I've seen before but I don't really remember how it all transpired which you know, I look at these movies and I think, even though I know that they're fiction, I have to believe that that some of it is real. You know what I mean? Like, there is a way to have happiness and love. I know it is. So anyway, that's all I'm going to say right now. I've been talking forever. But I just feel, felt like I needed to pull the camera out because my heart's heavy. I'm in a sluggish way today. Like I said, I'm just, I'm being very, very relaxed today. I, I don't see myself 
getting out of this bed anytime soon. <laughs> I'm gonna make me some vegetables here for dinner in a few minutes. And that's gonna sum it up for my day. So as always, thank you all for hanging out with me throughout this weekend's vlog. I feel sorry for you if you made it to this point, but thank you if you did. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you can somewhat in any kind of way relate to this, comment below, share your thoughts, email me if that's more easy for you and you don't want everybody to read your, your thoughts. But you know, my email is in my description bar. Maybe I'll put it there as well so that you all can see it. And wish me luck as I struggle through this situation. And maybe I'll get more into it in another video, but it's really, it's really, it's hurting me in here, so.